All right, today we have how to download the Naruto C mod. I've gotten a few requests on how to download this mod. So first thing we wanna do is go to Google. It's the first thing I wanna do and type in Naruto C. And the first link you should get is this Naruto C Gen Games. Go ahead and click that. You can also type the address into the address bar in any of your browsers and it'll take you to the same exact page. All right, so on this page, you wanna go ahead and click the downloads and installation button. So once this page loads up, you'll notice that the latest version of Minecraft that works for this mod is 1.7.10, not 1.17. So make sure you have the right version of Minecraft installed once you do this. So from here, let's scroll down to the download section and you'll see that there's three mods you need to download. One is JRM Core, the other is JBR Client, and finally the Naruto C mod. Okay, so you need to download all three of these links for it to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and click each one individually. Okay, so once that passes, you can go ahead and click download right here. Or on the lower browser bar, just be sure to click keep so it saves to your downloads folder. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do the same thing for the next two. Go ahead and download. Again, if you get an ad, just click keep. I'm gonna go back. The Naruto C mod finally. Click download, click keep. So the next thing we wanna do is download Forge if you don't already have it. So we're gonna go ahead and search for Forge 1.7.10. From there, we'll go ahead and click the first link. That should take us to the Forge page directly for the 1.7.10 download file. I'm gonna go ahead and click the latest and I'm gonna click installer. Just click that, wait five seconds as it shows on the upper right hand corner and then click the skip button. Be sure to keep the file so it saves in your downloads folder. And from here, we can close the browser. I'm gonna go ahead and launch Minecraft. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have 1.7.10 installed on your computer. So just be sure it's in this list. If it's not, go ahead up to the installations tab, click new installations. And from here, you can name it whatever you like. I'm gonna 1.7. I'm gonna select the right file. Now do not click the latest version or do not click 1.17. Uh, you're gonna want 1.7.10. That's 1.7.10. So we're gonna scroll down and find that. That's right here. And then we can go ahead and click create. Now go back to play. Now be sure to select your 1.7 version, which mine is right here. Be sure to click play so it downloads on your computer. So once Minecraft is opened, you can go ahead and close it. Now, if you didn't do this step, you're not gonna be able to install Forge, so be sure to do this. So the next thing we wanna do is open up our downloads folder and install Forge. Now, uh, to install Forge, you're gonna need Java. If you don't already have that, installed on your computer. There's a link in the descriptions below. So to open up Forge, you can just double click it to start up the installation menu. But I like to right click and go to open with just to make sure I have Java already installed. Cause if you don't see this, that means you need to install Java. But if you do, you're totally fine. Just click okay. Once you do that, you'll get a little Forge installer window pop up. Just install client, click okay. Then you'll get a successful installation message showing up. Just click okay. So the next thing we wanna do is go back to Minecraft and you'll notice that I have Forge 1.7.10 uh, dash Forge installed. And if you don't have that, simply go back to installations and do what we did previously, which is go to new installations. Now name it whatever you like, go to versions and select the 1.7.10 Forge version. Just be aware that it might be at the very bottom. Like in my case, it's at the very bottom. It's not where you expect it to be. So just find it and select it and then click create once again and go up to play. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and select that new installation if you don't have the default Forge installed already. And mine was called 1.7.10 Forge exclamation mark. So that's selected and then I'm gonna click play. Now, if you don't do this step, you won't have a mods folder installed on your Minecraft folder. Uh, you could do it manually, but you wanna go ahead and click play so that automatically does it. Now, once it opens up, you'll notice that you have a mods folder. There's an additional folder that you now have with Forge. Uh, if you don't have this, then something's not done correctly. Now, you can go ahead and quit the game now. All right, so once you get back to your desktop, all you need to do is hit the Windows button and R key at the same time. You'll get the run command window and just type in percentage sign app data percentage sign backslash dot Minecraft. Click OK. Minecraft should be in the list in your app data. And from here, you will see you have a folder called mods. Let's go ahead and open that up. From here, we grab the three Naruto related files and drag it over to the mods folder. If you don't need Forge, you could simply just delete that after you installed it. So you should have these three files in your mods folder. And simply close that out and open up Minecraft once again. Be sure you select the 1.7.10 Forge launcher and click play. All right, so once that opens up, I'll just check the mods folder and make sure you have all the correct mods in there. It looks correct. We have Jinru's JRM Core. We have Jinru's Better Rendering Engine and Naruto C in there. So that looks good. 
Now to load the game, just go to single player or multiplayer. I'm gonna go single player, create a new world, name it whatever you like. Game mode survival, create new world. Now you might get this shutting down internal server like I did, and there's a simple solution to that. So go ahead and close Minecraft. Now this issue is a problem with the options dot txt file in the minecraft folder i'll simply just open up that folder once again back in the minecraft folder just scroll down to a file called options so this options is a text document file and just go ahead and delete it this will automatically regenerate once you load up minecraft again so don't worry that you lose anything but this sometimes causes some issues so i'm gonna go ahead and close that out now go back into single player but just don't click the file that you tried to load again you're gonna want to delete this one and then create a new world. It's very important that you create a new world and don't use the old one. Now, if you have a pre-existing file that you are working on, that's totally fine to go in. You don't need to delete that. But if it's a brand new world you're trying to load and it failed, you're gonna wanna delete that and create a new world. Um, but if you had an old save, you don't need to delete that one. That should work just fine. And there we go, we're in the game. Simple as that. Now, if you click V, you should be able to open up your uh, appearance menu, change your hair, do whatever you like default skin. Now, if you don't see any of these uh, appearances showing up, that means you have an Optifine issue. These um, these mods by Jinru do not really work well with Optifine, and there is a workaround around it. I've provided a link below which shows you how to do it for Dragon Block C, but it's the same exact method because they're made by the, the same developer. But that's pretty much it. Make sure you change your power type from natural to Chakura, and from here you can pick your types, whatever you want to choose. I'm just going to click next, click accept, and that's pretty much it. We're in the game. You can see that the, the mod is loaded up. You got a, a thing to the left and you got a thing to the right, which is your HP and endurance bar, stamina bar. And there we go, little naked boy. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoy the content, please like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.